Okay, let's create some recording rules that will continually run and create us a new time series that we can query. But I'm going to use a more complicated query. For example, node memory mem free bytes. Okay, let's have a look at that. Excellent, we get those values back. The amount of bytes free in the memory. Let's divide that by the total bytes there execute that okay that's a number let's convert that to a percentage 100 minus 100 times okay so there is 82 percent free on twocoin.org and there is 81 percent free on this server localhost 9100 i mean i want to know that quite often how many percent is free I don't really want to keep typing that all the time I can create that into a rule and then that will show up in this drop down and I'll make it show up just here as node memory mem free percent let's do that let's go on to our server let's cd into our bin folder Prometheus lslh and we'll create a new file a new rules file called prometheus rules dot yml well we'll copy this text from my documentation here this text here so groups copy to clipboard so groups is called custom rules and this is our first rule I'm going to name it node memory mem free percent. That's what we'll see in the drop down. And the expression is what we just typed into the query browser. Let's save that. Control X. Now let's open up our Prometheus YML. And down here in the rules file section, we'll create a new one for Prometheus rules.yml. And actually, I'll wrap that and control x yes so let's restart prometheus and let's check its status excellence running let's go to prometheus and have a look okay so let's look in this drop down node memory mem free percent execute that and that's what we just created and because this is an instant vector we can just go straight and look at that as the graph not much information yet we just created it let's create something just a little bit more complicated and that will be how much free memory is on one of our disks so in the drop down i'll choose node file system there we go free bytes there we go divided by node file system size bytes that's the total let's execute that and we have a lot of drives here on both of our different servers i'm going to just filter for the label mount point equals slash to that and that shows me just two folders now the main folders so that is just simply 100 times and that's showing me 64% free and that is 92% free on these two drives. So we can now, rather than having to type that every single time, create a rule for it that will show up in this drop down. So let's do that. Back on the server, let's open up our rules file. And down here, let's create another one, another record. And I will call it node file system free percent. And it will be expression what we've just typed in here. There we go. Node file system free bytes mount point divided by. There we go. Let's save that. Yes. Now, when you edit your rules files, there's a potential that you might break them due to bad syntax or something. So Prometheus now ships with a little tool called Promtool. 
So let's try that out. So prom tool check rules the name of the file. So Prometheus rules.yml. It says success two rules found. So that's good. So let's restart Prometheus. And check the status. Okay, very good. Back into Prometheus. Let's refresh. And down here in file system, we should see a new one. Node file system 3%. Execute that, and there we go. It's just the two that we filtered by mount point. Let's look at that as a graph. Not a lot of data yet. We just created it. Okay, so I've had node file system 3% running for quite a while now, and we can see that there are some changes, and this is quite useful information to have. And what you also get with your recording rules is in this section for status rules, the rules that you created, the group, shows up here. It shows you that it's okay, errors, and how long ago it was last evaluated. You can also press this, this link here, and it will take you straight there. You can also press the actual query, and it will give you the query. They have recording rules. So the next exercise will do alerting rules.